Hello everyone, my name is Rohit. I'm a professional cosplayer from Bangalore. I have been cosplaying since past 10-11 years and I am the representative for India at WCS 2022. I'm cosplaying as the Runa Nagikante Alpha Armor from the game Monster Hunter World Icebound. It's absolutely one of my favorite ARPGs. And the moment I started playing the game and saw this armor in the game, I was immediately like, oh, I need to get this armor and I need to bring it to life. Hello everyone, this is Kitsune Blood Cosplays. I am from Arunachal Pradesh, Itanagar, and I have been cosplaying since 2016. Today, I'll be cosplaying as Handler in Sophia Guildmarm skin from the game uh, Monster Hunter World Iceborne. I found out about this event only about like two weeks ago and I was very skeptical to whether to join this event or not because it usually takes at least two, three months of preparation for such massive events. But the event was really, really tempting for us to go to, so I couldn't say no. So we did a lot of work in two weeks and we were really, really excited to come here for the event. Uh, I'm really excited for this event. Uh, even though it was a sudden selection, I'm really, really excited to be able to represent my country in an international platform with all the other amazing countries and participants from different countries. And I'm really, really looking forward to this event. I don't really have one particular favorite cosplayer because they just so many really talented people doing so many different things so it's absolutely impossible to just pick one person because it's so unfair to everyone else there is like so many cosplayers that i really really love but if i'm being honest i am my favorite cosplayer because i work really hard and i aspire to work harder and be better at what i do i'm cosplaying as the runa nagikante alpha armor from the game monster hunter world icebound it's absolutely one of my favorite arpgs and the moment I started playing the game and saw this armor in the game, I was immediately like, oh, I need to get this armor and I need to bring it to life. Today, I'll be cosplaying as Handler in Sophia Guildmarm skin from the game uh, Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Uh, the reason I choose this character is honestly uh, because I wanted to match up with my partner, Mr. Rohit. Uh, redemption props. I basically uh, selected this character because when I saw the character design it was really cool and she is so pretty so I wanted to portray her character uh, and do her justice by making my costume for her. Cosplay gives people a medium to express so many different things into one. They can express their fandom, they can express their creativity, makeup skills, painting skills, crafting skills, even science related projects with LED lights and circuits and stuff. So no matter what kind of creative hobby you have, you can bring it into cosplay and make some really, really interesting costumes. I think uh, people should cosplay uh, because it, it can bring you lots of joy and it can like, give you a sense of uh, belonging, especially being able to uh, portray your favorite character uh, in real life is really, really uplifting, especially if, if, if that's a character that you look up to. Uh, for me, I cosplay characters that I really, really like and that I some, somewhat resonate. It doesn't have to be me resonating, but I still like see something in that character and I really, really love. So I love cosplaying and people should also cosplay for fun. I just like uh, the fact that I enjoy so many different things, ranging from music to art to painting to science. And I can bring all of these things together in cosplay and do it all in once, which I really, really enjoy. My favorite part about cosplaying for me is being able to create costumes. I really love sewing. So you can see I made this costume. I really love detailing costumes. For me, being able to recreate uh, 2D in 3D in real life and being able to select different sorts of raw materials and bringing them all together in a cosplay is what, uh, that's what my favorite part of cosplay is. Like at least in India, people think that cosplay is something that uh young kids too like they see it as fancy dress but cosplay is for everyone any age any gender any color my message to the indian community about cosplay is that if you want to do it just start with it don't listen to people who want to demoralize you if you're confused how to start just contact one of the veterans and just ask them how to get started with your characters pick any character you like don't worry about your age body shape or skin color just do it for the fun I want to say to all my fellow cosplayers, uh, you all know that India has a small cosplay community still and it's growing uh, a lot and, it's, and it will continue to grow and I really want everyone to support each other so we can grow better and become bigger. Landing in Saudi Arabia was like one heck of an experience because we were 
very skeptical to come here because very different culture, different rules, different social standards. So we were really worried uh, what might happen. Uh, will it be pleasant? Will we encounter some unpleasant experiences? But luckily, people so far have been really nice to us. The Gamerade people and the WCS staff have been really, really taking really good care of us. The hotel is amazing. They have pickups for us everywhere. They have security everywhere. The event is really nice. They take care of food, stay and basically everything. We haven't had to spend a single penny since we have come here. When I landed in the airport, uh, the amazing WCS and the gamers and stuff came to pick us up and then we came to the hotel and oh my god when I got to the hotel, my hotel, hotel room was so big and it was so nice that I was really really happy and yeah. Uh, after that, we all got together and we ate our lunch. So we rested for a while because we had to prepare for our uh, WCS championship. When we first came to Riyadh, we haven't had a single round of practice for this event, which is very unusual for events like these because typically you would practice at least a couple of weeks for such massive performances for such grand stage. But since it's such an important event, we came anyways. And we basically had only two nights to practice our skit. And I think a lot of other teams shared the same experience. But even then, it was like so much fun. Even though there was so, so much stress, we were still always looking forward to just being on the stage and doing our best. My first day in Riyadh was really, really fun, surprisingly. And we were really stressed, me and my uh, cosplay partner, Rohit, we were really stressed, but somehow we worked it out. Once you're on the stage, everything kind of just disappears. Like you're just in the zone and all you're thinking about it. Oh, this is the next thing. This is the next thing. And throughout our many rehearsals, we made many, many mistakes and we were really afraid of how it's going to go on the stage. But I think what we did on the stage was the best iteration so far among all of our practices. I guess you just get in the zone once you're on the stage and you just put out your best. So I guess that's what happened. And I'm just so glad that it went all okay like we didn't do anything that we feel bad about uh, before getting on the stage I was really really nervous but when I got on the stage I just performed I I did not know what happened I just performed but after I finished my performance I had a huge panic attack and I almost like uh, puked <laughs> and it was really really uh, scary for me but overall uh, I was really glad to be able to perform well. The cosplay parade here in Riyadh was even though very similar yet very different from the WCS parade that we have in Japan. There is more of a traditional event, they have traditional drums, the parade is around the shrine area and the locals there uh, witness this event every year so they just, they just come there in anticipation in advance. Here it was a different setup, it was a huge mall and the crowd was very new the cosplay thing was very new for them there were so many kids just so excited that probably saw cosplay for the first time here because cosplay is not really very big in saudi yet so overall it was really really fun and contrasting event from what we experience in japan usually during the parade it was really fun and i was so happy to see so many people uh, outside waving at us taking our pictures and videos and it was uh, really uh, sweet of all the people they were really kind here and it was really tiring but i had lots of fun big shout out to nordwing gaming for hosting wcs in india for past couple of years and giving opportunity to cosplayers like us to go on such a grand stage and represent India at WCS over and over again. And I hope they continue to host WCS and many other esports and cosplay related events in India. I would love to thank Nodwin for creating WCS India event. It has helped me and so many other cosplayers in India and it has given major uh, platform for all of us to participate in international level. I would really like to thank Nodwin for creating this event and hopefully you can do more events like this in future and continue to help all the local cosplayers in India.